Hello, and thank you for joining in with me on another video. Today I have an interesting uh, topic I wanted to talk to you about. It might not be what you're thinking. Now, I am definitely a silver stacker, and I think silver is important. And just like everybody else, the price of silver is going up. So I think it's 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 exciting time for people who stack silver, who collect silver, and who enjoy you know the option you know, or the opportunity to have silver as a backup for inflationary costs. But what I want to talk to you about today is the importance of nickel and why you should, for sure, if you can have the opportunity, get nickel while you can, because nickel is going up drastically as well as copper those are two uh, of the two things that i think that coin collectors or silver collectors or stackers forget about these two prices with the situation that's going on right now in europe has caused nickel to skyrocket almost to 90 percent in one day um, I saw an article yesterday in Reuters. If you go to Reuters.com, there's an article about how nickel has skyrocketed. And also, the price of copper has also gone up. And why I ask uh, and mention these things are, I believe with the price of these commodities going up the way they are, I don't think the United States government will probably be making these coins in abundance like they used to or probably might not even make them at all. These coins right here that you see will probably be not um, be made anymore, I don't think, because the, the cost of the the uh, materials is going to be worth more than the actual base value of the coin. That's the same thing that happened back in um, 1964 when silver, the value of silver, was basically uh, more than what... Uh, the coin was uh, worth it. The silver got out of hand and they, that's why they stopped making silver quarters and silver dimes because of the, uh, the value of the, the commodity. So just wanted to let you know that nickel, if you can get a nickel, if you're a nickel collector or if you want a nickel set, I highly advise you to get nickels right now or try to start collecting nickels because I think they're going to be low in abundance pretty soon because of the crisis that we're having right now and that the, the producers Russia right now is the tempers pr produces 10% of the actual nickel production in the world. So this, there's going to be a major disruption in nickel production as far as even in for industrial use. Not only that nickel also has many industrial uses such as uh, conductivity for electrical batteries it's going to be the, the main thrust for the use of cars and, you know, for the, the electrical, you know, uh, hybrid cars and batteries. So there's so many uses for nickel that it's insane. Now, uh, I got I, used, I collect these nickel. These are, this is a 1940, by the way. Uh, these are 1940 BUs. Uh, and you can see I collected these. I got these from a coin shop. You can see the head. Let me see if I get this closer for you. But this is a 1940 uh, P, and they're in BU condition. That's why I have my gloves on. I'm really, uh, touch them with you know without my gloves on. But I highly advise if you are a nickel collector, if you want a nickel set, now's the time to get it, and now's the time to start collecting. I also want to show you these. Sorry about that. This is another commodity that you want to get. These are copper pennies. Anything from under 1982 to 19, uh, 1909. Wheat pennies, Lincoln Memorial cents is what you want to get because these are also highly conductive as far as electricity uh, is concerned. So you want to get some of these as well. This is another thing that will also, I think, the government will stop making. Canada has already stopped making the the, the copper penny. Uh, already don't even make pennies anymore. So 
these are another one of the items that I think you're gonna you should definitely hoard or try to collect. I don't necessarily say hoard, but if you can get your hands on some of these, I think they're they're another commodity right now that is skyrocketing in price. It's gone up tremendously since in the last uh, week or so, and I'm not saying that that uh, these are actually you know that you can melt these down because right now there's a law you cannot uh, there's five years imprisonment and a ten thousand dollar fine if you try to melt copper on your own but however who says the law will never change so never un underestimate right now um what could happen in the future so i think you know with, with things going the way they are you should definitely try to get some uh copper pennies they're worth to me even though everybody's doing the silver thing, they're worth it. These are, uh, I collect these. I, I'm, like I said in my uh, initial video, I collect all kind of pennies, all kind of coins. And this is one of the things that I stack. It's coins, nickels, and dimes, quarters. So right now, these two commodities, if you collect, like, like I said, with the, with the um, zinc, as far as the, the, the nickels, nickels are um, one of the best ways. It's right now the nickel only has 25. Nickel has the best of both worlds because it's 25% copper. And uh, no, I'm sorry, 75% copper and 25% nickel right now. My lights is acting up right now on me, but... Just wanted to, to show you that that it's important. As soon as I get my light here, I can kind of connect back with you. But what's wrong with the light here? There we go. I'm sorry, but my computer seems like it's glitching a little bit here. But anyway, uh, the quarter also. If you didn't know that, quarters also have copper and nickel comp combination. Quarter is 91% copper and 8% nickel. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Same way with, like I said, with this nickel, 75% copper, 25% nickel. Pennies are 95% copper. And then the rest just is a combination to five, last 5% is zinc and tin. So I would highly recommend this to, to get, if you can, while you can get these, get you some nickels and some pen, uh, wheat pennies uh, out of your collection there and every day they change they like to still collect uh floating around and change right now collect as many of these as you can and hopefully um you get a nice amount you know and, and never who knows what can happen in the future these could be the next uh big uh value for like just like silver was back in the, in the 64 and pre-60 1964 and 1965 Five, uh, five when everybody started hoarding quarters and dimes they actually had a shortage of quarters and dimes when the people would find out that they were going to, ready to go to take the silver out of quarters so i highly suggest definitely get some nickels start collecting nickels because these are going to be hard to get there's going to be a market for these and you're going to be happy that you did if you start now because right now the prices are soaring so that's all i have for today just wanted to share that with you and hopefully um, you get some value out of it. Please like and sh share the video. I hope that uh, that you enjoyed the video. I'm also on Instagram at uh, Silver Stack Coins on Instagram. And I have some pictures out there as well. So um, please join me. And I hope uh, that you will uh, join me for my next video. Again, thank you for, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.